Franklin. Hello. Man, it's been a long time since you've been around. It has. Good old five point bros back in action. You about to put some current inside or I you just did? did. did oh, Billy. Off. Also got ourselves a dadgum Z06 with my buddy Day Day over here and my buddy Nismo driving his Nismo. Shocking. <laughs> Finally got a Nissan on the channel. Did I say Nissan? I meant Datsun. And last but not least, we got Grandpa coming over here with his chrome wheels, Long Beach Red Convertible Z06. Uh! So before we get heading out from the gas station and I talk about why I'm in a Grandpa Z06, I thought I'd talk about this Z06 right here. So this was our last manual Z06 that Parkway Chevrolet got in. So this is a 1LZ, so it doesn't have any fancy heated and cooled seats, none of that stuff, but it is a seven speed manual with the red seats and in it there. And then it is a black exterior with the comp gray wheels. This thing is absolutely sick. And uh, the person that owns it is my person that trained me basically over at Parkway. So um, yeah, good old Parkway performance car specialist rocking around in the Z06s today. Sick. Taking a rental car to a car show. Sick. Ooh, a Ford GT. Nice. So what is going on guys, Riley here. Today we are out here at a car show called Woodlands Coffee and Cars over at a place called Market Street. And uh, today we are dri driving around rocking the Grandpa Z06 Vet. Um, so no, this is not my vet, just my vet for the day. Um, so we're gonna do some videos and stuff with this a little bit later. Um, so I figured we'd change up our, our scenery a little bit and add some Corvette content in here. There's a nice fifth gen ZL1. Uh, but anyways, went ahead and parked myself over here in the corner next to another vet. Just kind of fit right in. Man, that thing is cammed. Oh, then we got Kyle, Mr. KCSVT, who's been on the channel a whole lot. He finally came out to something early in the morning. We got Mr. Frank, who's always working over in Midland, Texas, out there in the oil field. And then uh, Nismo, who's also an employee of Parkway. So it's like a little Parkway squad also uh, down here. And this is my buddy Trent's car. I actually sold him this car a few months ago. Um, and then long story short, he ended up buying a Camaro from me and starting a job at Parkway as well. So Trent's just join it into the Parkway fam. Also, I just noticed two cars down from Trent's. We got J-Rod Sr.'s car here. This is the guy that did all the work on my Grand Sport Corvette and did all of my, my cam and all my goodness there. And then also did the install on my Mustang for the headers and all that good stuff as well. So hopefully I can go say hi to him a little bit later. But if you need any performance work done to your car, hit up J-Rod Speed Shop down in Rosenberg, Texas. They do all kinds of good stuff. And uh, I can't remember what records he holds with this car, but holds a few of them, and this thing is fast.
That's exactly what I want. Well, uh, ran into some friends here at uh, Cars and Coffee, and now I find myself inside of a McLaren 720S. Um, so yeah. this is unexpected, but sounds pretty cool. so far forward in this car like we're like right over the front axle that's a really cool seating position man this so, thing is sweet so balanced Super. wow mm -hmm. So does it shoot a flame when you hear that? No, no flames. y'all will y'all go check out she's without fear on instagram and youtube huge shout out for the ride that was an absolute blast and uh, i think we'll have some more videos with this car on the channel here in the future but absolutely 720s is absolutely sick bye frank put money on it that he floors it leaving here Well, I figured before we go take it out for a quick spin, let's go ahead and talk about what this car is and why your boy is driving it for the day. So, um, no, RP did not buy this as much as I'd like to uh, tease you guys and say, look at my new car. Um, this is just something for the day. So like I mentioned a little bit earlier, this is a 3ZR Z06, meaning it has basically the most amount of options that you can get um, with the different option packages that are offered with the Z06. So this one has the most. This one also has the Z07 package, which gets you um, some carbon ceramic brakes, which are very expensive, but they break extremely, extremely well. Uh, a little bit more uh, aero, so that those little winglets on the wing, stuff like that. Uh, side skirts, front little splitter, and the suspension tuning is a little bit different. Um, so it's a little bit stiffer than a typical Z06. In fact, on a bumpy road, it's not too fun. Um, but aside from all of that, so Z06, convertible, eight-speed automatic, and uh, the good old 6.2 liter supercharged LT4, same um, engine that's found in the Cadillac CTS-V and the ZL1 Camaro. The only difference over the years, so this one is a 2016, and if you look at the blower lid, that is the supercharger right there. You'll notice on the back half, it's a little bit taller um, compared to the front half. So in 2017, they made it where it's basically the same height all the way front to back, and it's the, the height of basically the rear of this one here. Basically what that did was that helped with the cooling. So the 15 and 16 Z06s had some minor issues with cooling when you would really go beat on them on a really hot day on a racetrack and things like that. Um, most of the time, you weren't really going to have an issue unless it was something just, you know, absolutely flooring it nonstop and, and really, you know, using the car to its full potential. But that's pretty much going to be your only difference between a 2015 Z06 and a 2019 Z06. They really didn't change all that much. Just the supercharger and cooling stuff was a little bit revised midway through. Um, this one is the black interior, as you've kind of already seen. Eight-speed automatic, which is actually really nice. So 
This is actually my first time getting out and about and driving a eight speed automatic out on the road. So I'm glad I've got to spend some time behind the wheel uh, and see what it's really like, you know, out on the road, not just like driving around in parking lots and stuff like that. So I actually really like the eight speed in this car. It feels really good. Transmission shifts uh, very aggressively, but it's also nice and kind of calm when you want it to be. But this thing is freaking fast. It was, uh, it was impressive. I went out last night when it, the weather was nice, took the top off and um, just went out for a nice little cruise and it was uh, quite enjoyable. So usually I'm not a huge fan of convertibles, but honestly the fun factor when you're actually behind the wheel and driving just can't be beat. I mean, just the open air experience, the exhaust is really not all that far behind where your head is and you hear it right behind you. Um, it's just a, a super enjoyable thing. So it may not, to me, at least look the best. I like the coupes a little bit better, um, but it is a little bit more fun. And I don't know, I just think it looks cool with the top down. Now this car is available for purchase at Parkway Chevrolet, which is where I work. And last week I was sitting at my desk wondering, you know, what was the original MSRP of this car? So take a guess, $112,000 if I memory serves me right. So it was quite expensive brand new and now it's offered for sale with just over 7,000 miles for about half of that. So that had me thinking, you know, is the C7 Z06 the best performance bargain out there right now with, you know, where they were brand new versus how how they are now? And uh, I would have to say probably. So I would say that's probably enough talking about it from the outside. Let's go ahead and fire this thing up, take it for a drive, and let's talk about the Z06. So this is probably the nicest day we've had here in Houston in quite some time. It's like 78 degrees, it's sunny, not very windy. I mean, it's like perfect weather. So I think we're gonna try to finish this whole video with the top down. So hopefully the audio is not too bad. I got this little furry uh, ferret on my chest here. So hopefully that blocks some wind noise, but let's go ahead and fire this thing up. And uh, we'll go out for a little drive. Let's talk about car stuff and uh, let's have some fun. You know, I don't know if I could ever buy a convertible C7 Z06 or even a com convertible C7 for that matter, but they really are more fun than the coupes. And uh, I mean, I've had this thing, I've been driving around for about a day or so, and uh, I've had the top down pretty much every time I drive it, because it's just more fun. And the exhaust, I mean, just right behind you, it just sounds amazing. So the market for the C7 Z06, at least the used market, has now dropped down into a much more attainable range. When these things are brand new, they can be anywhere from, you know, 80 to 100 grand, and that's a lot of money. Um, now that they are, you know, more so readily available on the used market, anywhere from like 50 to 65 is kind of a common, common territory for most Z06s, and that is definitely a little bit more uh, easy on your wallet. It's also a car that just about every time I hop behind the wheel of it, really any Corvette, it could be a C5, C6, C7, it always just kind of puts a smile on my face and it's always enjoyable. Um, by no means are any of the C5 through C7 generations gonna win any competitions for nicest interior. Um, the C8 kind of changed that a little bit. It's a little bit nicer than it used to be. Um, it's just, it's fun and it always works. And also when you put your foot in it, you always have that just, you know, always ready even with the um, the base models they're always just ready so I want to ask you guys a question and I'd love to read all of your comments down below in the comments so hear me out on this you have a budget of sixty five thousand dollars let's say so sixty five I know it's still a lot that's still gonna get you a lot of expensive cars out there what do you get do you go get a c7 do you get a, a, a new like Grand Sport or a Stingray um, if you can find a good deal on one which they're still out there now it's still a great time to buy a c7 before the c8 comes out um, and is like readily available or do you go get a c8 with minimal options or uh, or what do you get but I gotta say c7 z06 is tough to pass up <laughs> gets old never never really does personally even though I have a car currently that I own that has the same engine that's in this car I kind of kick myself every day for not buying a c7 just because of this right here the open air experience it's something that you know I'm, I'm lucky to live in Houston where we usually get pretty good weather unless it's you know July through August and it's just really hot 
But even those months at nighttime, you take the top off, you go out for a cruise. This is something that I just, I enjoy. And this, this makes me happy. It's just one of those things that I really like and you don't have to sacrifice by getting a cloth top. You can just get the, uh, you know, the coupe with the target top, take the top off, put it in the trunk, go out for a drive and enjoy yourself. So uh, personally, I kind of kick myself every day for not getting one instead of the, the ZL1, which I currently have. I love the ZL1 and honestly, it's probably a better platform and a better car than the C7. For being honest, um, I don't know. There's something about the C7 that I'm always like, man. And uh, every day I still miss my C6 Corvette that I used to have. I get the question a lot. Out of all the cars that I've owned, which one have I had the most fun with? And the car that I've had the most fun with would be my C6 Corvette. That is, uh, that's always the car I'm like, man, I should not have sold that one. Um, so I'm gonna be very excited to be getting into a C8 here within the next few months. Um, not only for you know the nicer interior, the updated car, it's a brand new car, it's something fresh and exciting. Also just having the open air experience. This is something that, you know, if you've never experienced before, you definitely should. Uh, for people that have experienced it in good weather, then you know exactly what I'm talking about. It's, it's just something nice and uh, something I cannot do with a ZL1. I guess you could do it with a ZL1 convertible, but then that goes back to having a cloth soft top, which I'm just not a huge fan of. But overall, I think I've had a pretty enjoyable day today. Not only getting to go to Coffee and Cars this morning and getting to ride on a McLaren 720S, that was totally unexpected, um, but just the fact that I've been able to experience what it's like to really drive, not only just like a test drive, but just to actually drive a automatic C7 Z06, because that is typically how most of them are going to be. Um, you get the occasional manual sprinkled in, which I think is awesome, and that's a ton of fun. Definitely a, a very true, like, raw sports car. Um, but the automatic, it's, it's great. It really is. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Your boy RP definitely has enjoyed making it, um, and definitely 110%, without a doubt, I would buy a C7 Z06, um, one of the best bang for your buck performance cars out there on any market, really. It's, uh, it's a blast to drive. It looks good. It sounds amazing. I mean, it kind of checks off all the boxes aside from, you know, maybe having uh, a super luxurious interior. But other than that, you're good. So if you guys have enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Like I said earlier, comment down below what would you get for a budget of $65,000 or less? What, uh, what would be your pick of performance car or really anything? What would you spend $6,500? $65,000 on, not $6,500, and that might get you a, a Miata or a Nissan 350Z. But as always, guys, if you're in the market for a new or used car, hit your boy up. You can message me on Instagram. You can come by the dealership. You can call me at the dealership, whatever's convenient for you. Um, be happy to help you guys with your vehicle purchasing process. I try to make it fun and exciting for everybody and, and try to make it as smooth as possible because believe me, I've been there, bought a few cars, and uh, so I try to make it uh, an enjoyable experience. So. Hope you guys have enjoyed this video. I will see you guys in the next one. Take it easy.